So this is a video I didn't want to make. Now, I'm not going to slag off DJI. The products are amazing. But I've had an issue. What I want to do is just give you the facts and please make your own minds up. Send me a comment at the end whether it's my fault that the drone got lost or whether you think there was a fault with the drone and it's DJI's fault. That's all I'm asking. That's all this video is about. I'm going to give you all the facts, all the information. A brand new DJI Mavic Air. I got it out of the box. Did a great unboxing video. <laughs> the excitement on my face. Look at me. I'm so excited. I even got a free bag of sweets with it. <sighs> overjoyed with the new drone I've been saving for months and months looking at all the reviews to get the right one I bought the Mavic Air so I mean it is amazing you get all the great stuff in it all the box that is now <laughs> it's empty there's nothing there <laughs> oh my goodness me right where do I start I've got to get over this disappointment to try and make this video. It's gut-wrenching, absolutely gut-wrenching. But what I did, the drone came last Wednesday. The day, the weather was fantastic. It was mild, very low winds, hardly any wind, nine miles an hour. I've got the, the drone out, I've done the updates, because it takes a while to get these out and get them sorted, which was a bit of a surprise. So I've got it out of the box, I've done all the updates on it, you have to do all the firmware updates, you have to download the, the DJI Go to your, uh, to your phone, to plug it in, to get everything sorted. But anyway, done all of that, brilliant, no problem at all. Came to fly it, in the garden, put it down, and it's saying there's an issue with the compass, so it won't take off. So I've had to calibrate the compass, twisting and turning it, as it says on the phone, tells you what to do. So I've done that. It's took two attempts to get it right. It, it, it was a bit, yeah, it kept saying error, failed, so anyway, I did it again. Uh, but anyway, eventually, it, it worked. No problem at all. Flew the drone round the garden. About six or seven minutes, beginner mode, flying it about. No problem at all. Absolutely beautiful. Landed it, took off again, have another little fly for another couple of minutes, landed it, no problem with it. So absolutely fine, no issues. Had some dinner, charged the whole thing back up again, charged the drone, charged the controller. A couple of hours later, this is about six o'clock in the evening, I've gone outside, put it down, doo -doo -doo, all the business, vroom, up it hovers. Hovering there, It's, it's not still, it's, it's got a little bit of movement on it. There's no wind again, it's, it is dead calm. I've got trees all around the back of the house. As you can see, we've got massive open space here. It's all fields, all over the back, trees and everything. So you can get a really good gauge of the wind. I know a bit about wind. Kite surfing, I've done it for years. I mean, you know, wind is not, a, is not a mystery to me. There is no wind going on. So, the drone's just moving about. So when I've gone up slightly, down slightly, up, and it's just gone. Shh, gone. As soon as it went up to about, I'd say 25 feet, connection lost. Connection lost. I've got a whole series of warnings on the screen. Now I will go through every single one of these with the video. I'll show you that in a minute. But it went battery temperature, fault, it went uh, GPS, to start with it was saying GPS, but it did get all its 10, 10 satellite locks before it left the home point, that's important. So it did all of these things, but whoosh, gone. 30 miles an hour it was travelling, according to the stats on the screen, went 400 feet 
uh, I mean, by which time it says she's gone, like you know. But it says the last the last known point was four hundred feet away. It hasn't crashed. It's not where it said it was. It's gone. It's gone, and it continued to fly. It just kept on going, never to be seen again. In total, I've flown it for thirteen minutes. <laughs> So seven hundred and sixty quid. Thirteen minutes gone. But I'm going to go into some finer details with you now. Oh, look, I'm still excited. I'm still unwrapping them. Oh God, it looks beautiful in the box. Oh, it looks so good in there. But anyway, let's crack on with some of this information. I'm really hoping there's some drone experts out there that can just look at this and go, yeah, you really weren't at fault with this. And even if you're not a drone expert and you think that I'm not at fault and the product is is at fault, I'll give you an address for, for DJI for a tweet. If you can just send them a tweet saying, I don't think you've done right by AA Anton 11, please replace his drone. That would be great. That would go a long way, I'm sure. Get a few thousand people tweeting them in. They might even change their mind. But anyway, this is where we stand with it. I had to create a case. So I rang DJI support up, crying down the phone. My drone's gone missing. <laughs> please help. It was basically what I'm trying to say. Is please help. What has happened? I've done everything that it said. It will not take off unless it's got all of its information that it needs. It, it, it is very, very good as far as it wants everything. So everything was there, it was all good, but it still flew off. What DJI have said was that the, the issue really is down to some interference in the area, which caused it to lose connection, and the fact I was flying in high winds, and the high winds have blown it away. And that is that is it. Um, DJI's policy on this is flyaways. Um, that's it. There's there's nothing else. If they can say there's high winds, then then um, end of case. That you've got no no leg to stand on. So first things first. I uh, I uploaded all the flight statistics to DJI and sent it off. To, through the app to them, they've checked it and come back saying it was there's nothing wrong with the drone, it was perfectly fine and it was the high winds that caused it to go and the loss of connectivity due to interference from, from uh, pylons, uh, radio frequencies, signals, Wi-Fi, something else, something interfered with it which made it lose connection and the high wind blew it away. Lucky for me, I've got a friend who's a pilot so I gave him a quick shout because I'd, I'd got a basic weather report off the net for that day. That that wasn't good enough um, for DJI. They were saying that this is just a you know this is a basic ground level wind report uh, from the weather and it's it's not it's not good enough. That doesn't. They're saying that there's gusts of winds higher up that would uh, not be shown up on this on this graph. So then I got in touch with my mate, who's a pilot. Lucky for me, he's a great lad, and he got me the detailed Met Office weather analysis for that particular time, for that particular day in Leicester. This is what they use at Leicester Airport for taking planes and flying them. It's, you can't get any better than that. So it's got all the information down there. The wind was blowing 240 degrees at nine knots. So I'm just kind of looked at that thinking, what the hell does that mean? But anyway, after he told me what it was all about, the wind was blowing from the west to the east at nine knots. The drone went west, in effect, flying into the wind. It says it all, really. It says it all. The drone must have had some kind of major male function with the battery warning and all the other warnings that was coming up at that point and I'd lost complete control of it. The, the sticks were doing nothing. They wouldn't do anything at all. The drone had just got a mind of its own and was gone. But it flew into the wind. So I've sent all of this into DJI, all the information into them. 
and they still claim that it was the wind that blew it away, not a fault with the product. Well, I've just had an email back from DJI support from Dora, who's the person dealing with it. Thanks for getting back to us. Sorry for the late reply due to the weekend. The weather report you sent to us is used for large planes and not small sized drones. Moreover, it indicates the wind direction velocity in the wide area, not the wind velocity your drone suffered actually. The altitude and wind speed of the aircraft strongly demonstrate the wind velocity and direction during the flight. We respect your decision to take legal action, although we don't expect it. Sorry for any inconvenience caused. Thanks again for your patience. Have a nice day. Best regards, Dora, DJI Technical Support. Not what I wanted to hear. So I get him a low level report. I get him a high level wind report. I get him a report for the, the local airport, which flies light aircraft, micro lights, everything, helicopters. It's not good enough. They're still saying that the met data is incorrect and the information they've got from the drone is what they're going to use. That is that. I don't know what else I can do. What do you do? Uh, um, I've tried. <laughs> the next thing I can only think of now is to go to trading standards with it. Um, but I thought before I do that, I'll try a bit of people power and uh, I'll just put some information on the YouTube. Um, hopefully it will get a few views and it may, may just influence DJI's decision. If it is my fault, hands up, I'll go, yeah, I, I'm completely at fault here. I've done something wrong. But if I haven't, and there's an issue with the drone, I'd love to know about it. If there's anybody out there who can look at these statistics that I've got from the screenshots and say, yeah, there's something that, that, that I've missed that I can't see there that says it's not my fault, uh, that would be great. But more importantly, am I the only one this has happened to? Is there anybody else out there who's bought one of these drones and it has done the same thing? It's just flown off. I'd love to know. This was one of the first that DJI sent back to me saying home point is definitely logged. They haven't asked for the controller to be sent back, which I thought was a bit strange. I thought, I mean, that was quite an important part of the analysis, I, I would think, to, to check this and make sure that there's no issues with it. But they haven't, uh, they haven't asked to have this back to be tested, which is, again, it's a bit strange. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it doesn't need to go back. Maybe it is really cut and dry. This was the last point of contact with the drone. This is the information again from DJI. The drone itself was beautiful. It was absolutely stunning. It was, it was gorgeous in every way. Oh, it's looking more like a drone now. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I'm really enjoying this. I'm just so disappointed. Um, I have now sent an email. It takes them two days to get back to you. So they've had five emails off me now. Um, every time it comes back, saying that it's it's my fault because of the wind. Every time I send them back information saying that there was no wind, or very slight wind, um, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. Just one small point. Let's just say on that day, instead of the wind blowing to the east, it was blowing to the west. And the drone had got taken away and got in this, this high wind. My, my take on this is, these drones, I've seen the footage, they can fly in 20 plus mile an hour winds and still hold their own. It flew away at 30 miles an hour. So for me, what I say there is, well surely if it took off at 30 and it was attempting to come back home, 
the wind must have been over 50 miles an hour. Does that make sense? So, even though the wind was blowing in completely opposite direction at 10 miles an hour, if it was going in a westerly direction, the, drone, the way the drone went, it would need to be blowing in a, a 50 mile an hour wind to blow it away at that speed. Now we're talking near on hurricane. It's, it's not like a small wind. We're talking a big, big old wind there. I don't think the Met Office would have missed that one. The, the drone was only 16 metres in the air. It was 52 feet. 52 feet up is about 20 foot higher than the house, if that. Yeah. If you're thinking of buying a Mavic Pro, if you're thinking of buying a Mavic Air, if you're thinking of buying a Spark, you got to take this into consideration because this is this is something that I was really concerned about. It was something I was one of those things. It's an awful lot of money to spend on a product that you might lose. So this is why it's took me such a long while to make a decision and it's ironic that that it's blown away or it, it's gone the the signal should go for at least two miles it should it should keep in range for two miles give or take this 400 feet was the last known gps signal and it was still 16 meters in the air flying away at 30 mile an hour i've got a neighbor who's got a spark I've got a neighbour who's got a Mavic Pro. They've had them for nearly a year. They have never had a connectivity issue in this area. There are no pylons. There are no telephone masts in the area. We back onto fields. It's a beautiful place to fly a drone. So this is actual footage from my next door neighbour's DJI Spark taking off and following almost the exact route of my last flight so we just take it up in the air it gets up to 16 meters high and then we start going forward as you can see the only obstacle that's nearby is that big tree but my Mavic Air was flying slightly more to the left and yes we have checked the tree there's definitely nothing in it or around it or below it the actual GPS continued past the tree almost to the road in front of you that you can see there but it didn't quite make the the road before the signal was lost but it was still flying at 30 miles an hour in speed at 16 meters height as you can see there's not a lot going on here there's not a lot it's all fields behind us and it's only the road in front So not only have we looked on the ground, we've also used the drones to search for any signs of it in this area. We've looked everywhere. There's definitely no sign of it here. So it, it continued further than what the GPS signal says. So I've got a 50 quid drone, a little toy one. It's never lost, it's still got it. It still flies around in the garden. This one was like 14 times the price of that, and it flew away. Again, I'm going to finish this on a... It's a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. It really was. It, it, it looked the business. It's, it's... They make amazing products, but something's gone wrong, majorly gone wrong with this drone... I just want the right thing to be done. So that's the story. If you think I'm at fault, tell me in the comments. If you think DJI is at fault and there was an issue with the drone, tell me in the comments. But please send them a tweet to their support telling them that there is an issue and that I've been all done to. I really appreciate anybody that sat through this and listened to it. I know it's a bit of a droney one. <laughs> There's a pun for you. <laughs> Stop droning on. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. I will make another video with a follow-up if we get anywhere. Again, 
Thanks for watching.